Assalamualaikum and hi everyone Welcome back to my channel Jika anda pertama kali hadir ke channel ini Selamat datang saya ucapkan Tapi jika anda pernah hadir dan kembali semula Terima kasih kerana sudi kembali Jadi pada video kali ini We will discuss for examples On subtopic 5.1 Iaitu work Dan jangan lupa untuk tengok video notes animation Berkaitan dengan work dalam video sebelum ini jadi apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Okay, question number 3. So here we have 1,800 kg car. So this is the mass including the passengers traveling at 23 meter per second. Alright, so given that the mass is 1,800 kg. Okay, and the initial speed is 23 meter per second. And this car will slams on the brakes, locking the wheels on the dry pavement. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the rubber and the dry concrete is 0.7. Okay, so means that mu k is 0.7. Use the work energy principle to calculate how far the car will slide before stopping. Alright, so before stopping, so means that the final velocity should be 0 meter per second. Okay, so now we want to use the work energy theorem. Okay, so remember that work energy theorem W is equal to delta K. Okay, so now look at the car. So the force that we have on the car is the normal force. Okay, and then the weight. And then we have the frictional force, which is mu kn. Alright. So now we want to calculate what is the change of kinetic energy. So since we have the initial and final velocity, so we can find k final minus k initial. Alright. So it will be half mv squared minus half mu squared. So... U is given but V is equal to 0. So we can see here we have a change of kinetic energy. So we got negative answer here. So M1800, U is 23 squared. So that you will get delta K is equal to negative 4.76. Okay. Exponent 5 Joule. Alright, so now since the total work done is equal to delta K, so we can write here and the equation of the total work, so we have friction times the displacement S. So we want to calculate S cos 180 degree, alright, since the angle between S and F is 180 degree. Okay, so now this would be negative 1. So here we can write negative 4.76 exponent 5. Okay, so F friction we can write mu kn times S. So this is negative. So here we also have negative. Okay, so now negative we can cancel out. So we want to find S but we don't have normal force so remember normal force here so total fy is equal to zero normal plus negative w from chapter four so normal you can write n equal to mg so we can straightly calculate m is equal to 1800 g is equal to 9.81 okay so boleh kira lah n ni berapa all right so n is equal to 1.7 7 exponent 4 newton okay so we can substitute in here since mu is equal to 0 0.7 n is 1.77 exponent 4 equal to 4.76 exponent 5 all right so therefore also the tinggal s okay s is equal to okay 4.76 exponent 5 divide 0 0.7 and also divide 1.77 exponent 4. 
Okay, cuba kira. So, what is the answer? Alright, so the answer is 38.4 meter. Okay. So, the work done by the system to against the frictional force will make the car stop after travelling 38.4 meter. So, initially, the car is moving with the initial velocity of 23 meter per second. But once the driver slams on the brakes, so what happened? So, it will stop. So, V is equal to 0 meter per second. So, and at the same time, the car is doing work. Okay, the car, so work done by the system. So, the car is doing work to against friction. Okay, that's why delta K kita dapat nilai dia adalah negative 4.76 exponent 5. So, negative 4.76 exponent 5 is the value of work done. So, kalau work nilai dia negative, maknanya energy is transferred from the system to the surrounding. Sebab dia nak berhenti kan? Okay, so dia nak lawan friction. So, kita boleh uh, guna work energy theorem tadi. Okay, so the answer is 38.4 meter. So, finish example number 3. So, let's continue with example number 4. Okay, example number 4. So, here we have a graph of F against displacement graph. Alright, so as we know that the area under the graph, alright, this one, the area under the graph will give us the value of the work done on the object. Okay, so we can calculate. So, we have two area here. Okay, positive area and also negative area. So, positive area means that the work done on the system, energy transferred to the system. Okay, negative area means that and work is negative value. So, work negative value means that energy is transferred from the system. Work done by the system. Okay, energy transfer to the surrounding. Okay, so now let's try the first part. Okay, so we want to calculate what is the work done by the force F when the car moves from 0 to 7 meter. Okay, so W. Okay, W. Ha, kita yang pertama lah. Area yang pertama, so let's calculate the area under the graph. So, area A is a trapezium. So, we have half times 2 plus 6. Okay, uh, 2 inilah. 2 okay, plus 6. Ingat eh, formula untuk kira trapezium. 2 plus 6 times the height is 5. Okay, so ini you akan dapat 20 joule. And for B... And for the second area, so here is the second area. So, it is a triangle. So, half times from 6 to 1 adalah tapak ada 1. Tinggi dia adalah negative 4. Okay. So, this is very simple. So, this is negative 2 joule. Therefore, okay, the total work done is equal to 20 plus negative 2. And the answer is 18 joule. Okay. Alright, so now finish all examples. So, insyaAllah kita akan sambung lagi untuk subtopik 5.2 iaitu conservation of energy. Jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Bye-bye.